Hey Zombies, I am here to announce the Glam and Gore Disney Princess series, complete with a teaser trailer at the end of this video. This video is also to tell you a little bit of backstory on the long journey I've been on to make this series, as well as full disclosure about the obstacles I've run into before announcing it. As you may have already seen on Instagram and Twitter, I will be doing glam and gore versions of Disney princesses roughly every other video from now until the completion of the series. And this series is very special to me because I've been working on it since December of 2014 when I had just 50,000 subscribers. After having a ton of fun doing Frostbite Elsa in the summer of 2014, I started thinking about different ways I could put a glam and gore twist on every Disney princess. Now, putting a spin on Disney is nothing new. In fact, it's been done in art and cosplay for quite a long time, and many of the stories themselves come from Brothers Grimm fairy tales, but I wanted to put my own twist on that and bring it to YouTube with SFX makeup. So the original plan for the series was to keep it all a big secret and wait until they were all done so that I could release them back to back as this big surprise to you guys. I started working on them in between my regular filming schedule, but then in 2015, things got a little crazy and they had to be put on hold several times. For the Face Awards, for after the Face Awards it went into Halloween, and after that I was trying desperately to get back to a more manageable shooting schedule, because I had not been taking care of myself, more or less. So as you can imagine, all those things have really taken a toll on my original plan for this series, and since I started working on my series, this idea has been done by many other makeup artists on social media, and they are awesome, awesome versions. I took a risk by keeping my series a secret before I was ready to release them, and ultimately that risk backfired on me and I was left with a very tough decision. I truly was heartbroken, as dramatic as that sounds. Even though I knew Dark Disney wasn't a new concept outside of YouTube, I still seriously considered throwing away my secret series because I was worried about backlash that it would now look like a copy of others' work. But I know that it isn't. Before all of this, I had still put a ton of time into planning all the concepts, shooting ones I had already done, and people had dedicated their resources to me, like wigs, costumes, their time, and I knew that my makeup tutorials for this still had new interpretations and techniques to offer you zombies. As I've mentioned, several other artists in that time have done one or many versions of dark Disney princesses, but probably most prominently is Cat Sketch here on YouTube. I never want to step on the toes of another artist, so as soon as I saw that she was doing the same series that I had been working on, I contacted her right away, this was over a year ago, and we talked about it. We discussed our interpretations while we were still filming just so that I could be sure to avoid anything too similar to what she was planning on doing. I even completely redid some of mine to ensure the same. Cat series of the Disney princesses turned out to be amazing, and if you haven't already seen it, I highly recommend that you do go check it out. There will be a link in the description box below to find it. In any case, I am so excited to show you what I've been working on for what feels like forever. They are complete with a beauty tutorial, an SFX tutorial, lots of bloopers, and silly injures. Not in that order. It'll be much like the format of my Frostbite Elsa tutorial, only bigger and better. This will be my interpretation of the dark side of Disney in true glam and gore fashion. Stay tuned right now for the teaser trailer coming up, and also stay tuned for the very first full tutorial in this series coming at you tomorrow because every zombie should feel like a princess. Got it. 